Hey guys! Happy Valentine's Day! Oh my gosh! So exciting! Um, I actually am going to bake a cake today, I believe. Um, I had plans to do a cheesecake, but I think we're a little late in the day to do a cheesecake at this point. And I realize that not everyone on Valentine's Day, I'm just trying to share my video. Hey Sarah, happy Valentine's Day. Um, I realize that not everyone has a sweetheart on Valentine's Day, but I just want to wish you a happy Valentine's Day and share that it's more than just about a significant other or having a partner. It is about loving one another. So Happy Valentine's Day to you guys. I hope you can celebrate love in some sort of way today. And um, this look is for everyone. So I'm, I'm going to share my video officially now. Give me just one second. What are you guys' plans? When you hop on, click the hearts today. Today is a hearts kind of day. So all of the hearts, you guys. All of the hearts. And sharing this real quick. Tell me what your plans are for today. And if you don't have any special crazy Valentine's Day plans, that's okay. Just share your plans with me anyway. Yay! Love! Thanks for the hearts! <laughs> love it! So much fun, you guys. Yes. So my husband is working today, and I would like to surprise him with a cake or something when he gets home. Cooking Glenn a fancy dinner. Oh, that's so cute. Happy Valentine's Day, Jennifer! <laughs> hey, Jasmine! <laughs> All right, let's see, I'm almost done here. So, I can't decide, you guys. You're gonna have to help me out. I can't decide whether or not I'm going to do like a bright pink lip, like almost a red, like this color, pink, or if I should play it down and do a nude. Like a really subtle nude lip. So let me know what you guys think down below. And if you like what you see, please share it. Oh, I'm going to tell you what I'm wearing on my face. I'm wearing our primer. And then I mixed our BB cream with our body bronzer. Equal parts on my face. And it just like makes my skin glow. I love how illuminating it is. And I thought that was super appropriate for today. So... Beachfront Body Bronzer, and this is the color Sunset, and then, ooh, throwing things, my BB Cream, which already has illuminating properties to it, but now my face is glowing. Okay, so let's start with the eyes, and I'm going to be using a pigment powder today and mixing it, hey Kimberly, and mixing it with Palette 3. We're going to do a little bit of Palette 3 today. And I think I'm also going to be using a splurge cream. I really love dainty splurge cream. Isn't that cute? It's like a mauvey purple. It's very subtle, really creamy. Hi, Leah. Okay, so I'm going to start by priming my eyes. Here we go. And just a little bit goes a long way. With your eye primer, you really don't need a ton. But make sure your entire eye is covered because if you miss a spot, that's going to really be frustrating when you're trying to blend out your eyeshadow. So, here we go. Do a pink lip? Okay. I will do a pink lip. And I'll do a lip stain underneath it because I really want these lips to last all day. And um, my husband will kiss me with lip stain, so. The nude ballet slipper pink for the lips. Yes, Jasmine, I do sell this makeup. We can chat afterwards if you see anything that you like. Okay, so I'm going to start with a pigment powder. And I'm going to mix, this is glamorous, and I'm going to mix it with Determined, which is kind of like a taupey gray color, but it's just going to make it a little bit more subtle, and I think that these two together are really pretty. So I'm just taking a little bit of Determined and a little bit of the purple color. I'm going to sweep this into, oh, you know what? That is kind of when we're going to celebrate it too, because Nick is working this entire week, and... Um... 
we have company and we love our company. Okay, so do you see how it just makes it kind of a pale mauve purple? I love mixing these colors together. Super fun. Okay, so more determined, a little bit more glamorous, which is a really pretty purple, you guys. My purple girls absolutely adore this pigment powder. Okay. Into the crease. Okay, so I may play this up a little bit more as we go on, but I think that's good for now. I'm going to hit the other eye real quick. Determined, glamorous, and I'm just kind of swirling my the two colors together around in the lid of glamorous. You like purple for your hazel eyes. Yeah, you know what? I think purple is actually really a flattering color for most eye colors, if, if you can believe that. It will really make blue eyes pop, green eyes pop, brown eyes. Purple's a really pretty color for eye makeup. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little more determined kind of soften out the edges here on both sides okay there we go guys hit the share button if you like what you're seeing There we go. Okay. All right, so we've got that color down and I may take just a little bit of Glamorous on its own and darken up the crease. Tickled in palette three, yes. It's so cute, that pink color. It's really adorable. Just taking this on the outside of my eye and then sweeping it into the crease and creating that seven shape. Okay, just adding a little more dimension to the eye. Do the same thing on this side. Sweep up and then in. And it's really just taking the time to blend it out and make sure everything is even. Okay, I think I think we're good. Maybe a little more on this side, a little more blending action. Yes, all of the makeup brushes that I use are from Unique. And it took me a little while to build up my brush collection but I tell you what, having the correct tools makes all the difference. It really helps you get your desired look, especially when you're doing eyes or foundation. It's really important to have the right brushes. Okay, calling it good with the purple. Okay, so now I'm going to take my cream shadow brush and I'm going to use this lovely dainty splurge cream shadow 
and take this all across my lid. You could almost create like a glittery cut crease with this. Oh my gosh, this glitter is everything. Look at it. So cute. Okay, oh, that might be too much. Okay, here we go. I absolutely adore this color. So cute. This is dainty. And it's kind of a silvery, I don't know, almost lilac. It's gorgeous. It's a really subtle purple, but it's perfect for light looks like this. Okay. I love it. So pretty, you guys. All right. So now I think it's time to smoke out the underside of our eye. And I'm going to be using those same two colors, Glamorous and Determined. And I'm just going to sweep that underneath my eye. So pretty. These two colors together are gorgeous. It just turns out to be like a really dusty mauve color, which is so fun. It's not hard to mix colors like this either. It's very easy. This is the crease brush. But I love, it's almost like a pencil brush, and it's a natural hair. Um, it's great for blending. It's shaped to go into the crease, but I just love using it for, like, almost everything. Okay, I am going to take a little more of glamorous and I'm just gonna sweep it onto the outside of my lid here and I'm taking it kind of overlapping on that dainty cream shadow okay I'm just kind of sweeping inward like this. Yeah, this brush is seriously amazing. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites. So now it's time for some eyeliner, and this is totally optional, but hmm, what am I going to use? I think I'm going to use, I love that polished color that we used yesterday on the inner corner, so I think I'm going to use that again. It actually blends out really well with the purples. And I'm going to throw this in my waterline also.
See, this is a fun alternative to the white eyeliner because it's shimmery, so it's going to catch light, which is kind of fun. Okay, and then um, I think it'd be smart to take a little bit of Smitten with my deluxe brush right here. I'm going to just put that right in the inner corner of my eye, kind of open it up. Okay. And then I'm going to use, I feel like I'm missing some of my eyeliners here. Looking for my dark brown, my proper. I can't see, oh, I found it. It's right here. Hey, Mom! Happy Valentine's Day, Mom. Do you have any fun plans for today? Guys, when I was a kid, Valentine's Day was so much fun. My mom made it a lot of fun. We would have like special donuts, special like pink frosting donuts, special treats. It was so much fun. The table would be all decorated like for Valentine's Day and we'd give each other Valentine's. It was so much fun. Happy Valentine's Day, Carly. <laughs> okay, so I think my eyes are pretty much done. You could put an eyeliner on top if you wanted to. I don't feel like it's super necessary and I don't want it to take away from the shimmer, um, that dainty splurge cream, because it is just top notch. So I'm just gonna put on some Heart pancakes, yum, so much fun. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna put on my mascara and let that splurge cream shadow speak for itself. Okay. Now it's time for the fibers. I think we're gonna do several layers of fibers today. I think today would be an appropriate day to really blow up the lashes. Don't you? I think that's good. It's a very romantic, soft eye, but at the same time, it's kind of glam because it has that glitter. It's very girly. Okay, so now that you guys have seen the eyes, what do you think about the lips? Should I do a pinky nude or should I do like a bright pink. I'm feeling like a pinky nude. That's what I'm kind of feeling like. But I'm not sure. What do you guys think? I saw one hot pink and I saw one pinky nude. So we need a tiebreaker. Look at the difference in my eyes with this mascara and no mascara. Crazy.
wild pinky nude ooh with gloss over it okay happy valentine's day michelle how are you <laughs> pinky nude is your pick okay so we'll do a pinky nude lip we'll do a bright corally one later on okay Guys, this mascara is seriously, like, out of this world. It's kind of like magic. Awesome. Do you have any fun plans for Valentine's Day, Michelle? Sealing in the fibers, and then it's time to do a second coat. That's one. And here we have coat two. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. You guys got married on Valentine's Day? Oh, that is so sweet. <laughs> How fun is that? It's like everyone is celebrating your anniversary. That's so cute. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, man. Mascara, you guys. Seriously. Okay, so now it's time for the rest of the face. I am going to use a little bit of concealer, and I think I'm just going to use concealer on its own today. My concealer brush. Take this down underneath the eyes. Perfect. Hit the other side. Ooh, a pink ombre lip. That's fancy. That would be fun. Yeah, I'll see if I can do a little bit of an ombre. We'll we'll make it. Um like a nude ombre of sorts. That's a good idea. <laughs> then I'm just using the leftovers to highlight certain parts of my face. You're so sweet, Michelle. Yes, um, he always figures out some super adorable way to make me feel special on Valentine's Day. He does a very good job. He is working right now. So, there's that, but. 
Yes, he always makes an effort. And sometimes it's not actually on Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day. But he always, always does something sweet. Okay, so I am going to contour my face now. And I think I'm actually going to use my Sculpting Trio today. So this is my Sculpting Trio brush. And I'm going to dip into the cream here. And I'm basically just angling from the top of my ear down to the corner of my mouth. Just kind of drawing an imaginary line. And then blending it out. This is a great trick to make your face look skinnier. And believe me, I use this trick all the time. We all have those weekends after Super Bowl, Thanksgiving, when we could benefit from a thinner face. Yes. At least I'll speak for myself. I have those moments. <laughs> so this is a great trick to slim your face down. And then this is a trick to slim your nose down. And this is going to lift your nose. And this is going to help make our lips look bigger. And then this is going to give us a very defined feminine jawline. Yay! You got your kit! Carly, I'm so excited! I'm super stoked to watch your video. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Yay! I can't wait to see what's in it. So much fun. That's so cool. Okay, so there we have our slimmed down chiseled face. Okay. And I'm going to add a little bit of bronzer. I think today is a bronzer day and then we'll do blush. Oh, hi Mark. How are you? Happy anniversary. <laughs> and thank you. You're very sweet. <laughs> Makeup is an amazing thing for sure. taking it up kind of into my hairline because that's going to make it look a lot more natural. Guys, I cannot get over this dainty eyeshadow. So cute. Okay, blush time. I'm going to be using Sweet, Sweet Blush, although I could probably get away with Stunning because I am wearing that cooler toned um, purple. But we'll do sweet. Okay. Now it's time for some highlight. And let's see, can we use palette three? 
Let's use Smitten right here from palette three as our highlight. I may go over this with Tender just to kind of warm it up a little bit. That's from palette four, but I think this is super cute because it has that kind of purpley undertone. It's kind of a cool color though. So we'll we'll take the Ice Queen edge off of it by going over it with another color. Keep the highlight nice and high or else it will undo all of that contour that we put down here. Palette 4, we're going to take Tender, this one right here, it's a lot warmer, it's just going to help take the icy edge off of it. We're good there. Now it's time for the lips. Okay, so pink, pink lips. We're gonna do ombre. So I think I'm gonna start with pouty, and then I'll put well to do. I think unless we should do this one. I think we're gonna do well to do lipstick over the top and then we'll do lucid lip gloss over that Coloring in the corners, kind of blending it in with my fingers. Okay, now we'll take well to do more in the middle and just kind of patting it on. Okay, and then we'll take lucid lip gloss. And apply that in the very center. Okay, awesome. Good choice, you guys. Really like the pinky, pinky nude lips with this look so eyelashes you guys seriously that is going to capture your guys attention right there so thanks for getting ready with me you guys i hope you have a fantastic valentine's day and spread the love we'll talk to you guys later bye